Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you assign job costs you incur to the correct customer job, then the next time that you create an invoice for that customer job, you can bill for the job costs. To do this, create an invoice by selecting Customers, Create Invoices from the menu bar. Then use the Customer Job drop-down to select the customer job to which you have assigned job costs. When you do this, QuickBooks will then display the Billable Time Costs window. To bill the costs, click the Select the Outstanding Billable Time and Costs to Add to this Invoice option button, and then click the OK button to continue and open the Choose Billable Time and Costs window. Note that even if you elect not to bill the time and costs at this moment, you can later click the Add Time Costs button that appears within the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the invoice to open the same Choose Billable Time and Costs window. In the Choose Billable Time and Costs window, click the Expenses and Items tab as needed to display the outstanding expenses recorded and items purchased for the selected customer job. Select the expenses to bill to the customer by clicking into the leftmost column next to each line item to mark it with a check mark. On the Expenses tab, you can even mark up expenses if needed by entering the amount or percentage to mark up the items into the Markup Amount or Percent field. Note that if you mark up the selected items by a percentage, then you must enter the percent sign into the field, otherwise QuickBooks will assume it is an amount. If you mark up expenses, select the Income Account to which you attribute the markup by selecting it from the Markup Account drop-down. If the selected expenses are taxable, check the Selected Expenses are Taxable checkbox. In both tabs, you can check the Print Selected Time and Costs as One Invoice Item checkbox to add all of the billable time and costs to the invoice as a single item if needed. Once you have checked the billable items and expenses, click the OK button to add them to the invoice. You can then complete the invoice as you normally would and save the invoice by clicking either the Save and Close or Save and New button within the Create Invoices window when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.